Agro Swain and welcome everyone to Agro Swain back in garden with me, Mitchell Juno Swain. If you've been following us on Instagram, you would have seen that I shared this picture. Um, so basically in this video, I'm just going to feature, I'm going to show you a plant which was given to me. Well, uh, uh, one type of plant, which is sweet pepper, but there are so many in this pot. Um, the, the original owner um, presented this to me and told me that I could just have it. Um, the sad thing about this is that there are so many pepper seedlings in this one container that I will have to remove quite a few. I intend to leave three of the strongest um, pepper plants in this pot. And also I might actually change the pot because this is growing in only um, potting soil. And as you know, potting soil is not really the best to grow out plants to produce food. It can work, but it's not the best. And as you guys know, the best way to grow your plant in a pot is in a very healthy organic soil mixture. So you need possibly soil, compost and manure okay um so i am going to possibly change this pot sometime in the future but in the meantime not just the pot but the soil in the meantime as the moon is coming up i'm going to remove basically majority of the plants today and i'm going to also prune out prune the three best so that by next full moon or the full moon which is coming like on the 26th or 27th i will then transplant it into another pot with a lot more organic soil as i told you this is potting soil that's why it's so very light the plant is looking very nice and green but it's not healthy for when the plants start to produce fruits the fruits from the plant need as much nutrients as possible and as i told you the best way to get that entire component in your soil is by adding or mixing soil natural earth soil compost material and manure you can also add or mix compost material and manure for your plant and you can also add some more organic component like coconut peef this sort of stuff you don't need actual soil but soil helps because the soil contains um, earth foam eggs and other living organisms which might thrive in your pot so of course let's go ahead and have this done i want you guys to see what it's looking like and you know witness as i'm going to have the seedlings or the other seedlings removed i will try to find somebody else who might need the seedlings or plant them somewhere else but in the meantime we're just going to focus on the three strongest in this spot let's go ahead okay guys um so sadly i'm just gonna have to uproot them um normally i would use different tactics as in wetting the soil a bit but um i am basically um not in a backyard garden i'm at a residential um, apartment complex so i can't just wet and dirty up the place like um, i would freely do when i'm planting so i have to do it um to my best without dirtying or throwing down material so i'm not wetting the plant only because i don't want the water to drain out and wet the floor okay so i do apologize normally i would wet it up which you should to make it easier to pull out um but given the situation i'm just going to have to approach it um, the soil is actually still a bit moist so that's fine there's quite a lot of them there there's quite a lot so i'm just gonna leave as i told you three of the strongest but there are so many to choose from it have quite a lot guys but i am seeing the smallest stems and i'm pulling them out first some might not survive because the roots, basically, as you can see, the roots are completely gone. As I pull it hard, the roots, roots basically broke off. So let's see. Just trying to find the best ones. Look at this. See how compact they are? So I need to leave three of the best. So, so far, this guy right here looks like... Let me move the leaves so I can know which one. But this one looks like it's going to be one of the lucky ones to stay because it's on the outside and it's one of the biggest um, stems now this one has to go this one has to go and also this one has to go um, this one stays and then this one stays so I've selected my top three which are these three um, so I'm going to try my best to remove all the others without damaging this free. Okay, so this one's coming out also. Okay, so here we go. 
Sorry guys. Okay, change up plans. This one looks like one of the best, but it's it's pretty shallow. Okay, so this one stays. This one, this two, this two comes out. Okay, so this three will stay. These three are the lucky ones, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, um, I'm gonna get a stick, right? And I'm gonna put three of them to grow up out separate. So what will happen when I add compost material to them, um, I'll add it in the middle, or when I add manure, it'll be in the middle. Um, so they will thrive out better. Um, let's see, I'm not quite sure. I might have to leave them in here. I might leave them in here. I, I will time will tell guys by by um the twenty sixth I'll decide. Or maybe next full moon I'll decide. Okay? But for sure these are the three that I'm going to leave as you can see. So these three will stay, right? And I'm gonna put a stick and then I'm going to add some more material. I wish I could just drop them down a bit. I, but I don't want to do that yet because uh, yeah I want to drop them a bit but you know it might not be so okay guys so now we're gonna remove all the leaves right because moon is coming up we want them to start to focus on leafy growth so we're gonna remove all the leaves cut it at the tip here same for this one I'm gonna cut it at the tip gonna remove this one this one this one yeah and then I'm also going to cut it at the tip so I'm gonna cut it here gonna remove the leaves okay guys so here we have it um, the three strongest plants um, which I believe um, and they will stay and I will take care of them in another pot possibly full moon which is coming I will transplant them in a black bigger pot of course thank you so very much for watching guys here some quick tip in regards to what I have done today I remove many many of the seedlings I mean order to allow the three strongest ones to survive I've also gone ahead and removed the leaves so that the plant itself will be forced to send out new branches where the leaves will that's where the new branches will come off full moon is approaching so for the next six days the moon is rising so this will allow the plant to send out a lot more leaves the root system I am not transplanting it yet because the root system will get damaged and the quickest or the best time to remove the plant is when the moon is going down root repair guys will take place faster and better the evening of full moon six days after full moon okay because the moon is going down so it's pulling the roots out is allowing the plant to focus on root growth and development so please do not transplant or move plants before full moon you're gonna have the the possibility of you having a nice green vibrant tree with a weak root system and then it's gonna fall down easier it's gonna die faster so please try your best when the moon is going up to do above ground and um, growth by pruning it and then when it is that you want to transplant I suggest you do it the evening of full moon the day of full moon and six days after so that the plant can recover quick into the ground when you transplant it of course thank you so very much guys please remember a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away it will keep hunger away and it will definitely keep poverty away and agress way is out <laughs>